like for me, one of my friends said, well, when are you going to quit? When have you had enough? You know, because it was taking me a long time to figure it out. And at that moment, you realize you're never going to quit until you make it. But people want guarantees in the market. There is no guarantee. One thing I guarantee you, though, is if you quit, you definitely will not make it. So guess what? Don't quit. And you kind of did that with your thing. You're like, well, I can't pay for this. I can't pay for rent. I'm sleeping in a tub. The hell with it. And <laughs> you're like, yeah. It's interesting. I was talking to my friend this morning because I have been so positive and so happy, just like normal, because I never expect life to kind of go as planned anymore. And I feel like I've kind of experienced the worst and God willing, I'll never have to experience it again. But just knowing that you're able to recover from sleeping on a tub or knowing you're able to recover from losing your Instagram. I'm just like, I know that, that I have the skills and the hustle to survive. You could build it again. You build something from scratch. I built something from scratch too. And we have been in common. And also we've both right. been down and out and then you pull your bootstraps up. I mean, a lot of people, I think, I call it perseverance. A lot of people don't have those qualities that it's very easy to go into that negative feelings where you just feel like this is the end of the world or whatever it is. But the reality is that the only person at the end of the day really that cares about your success is you. Yes, we have friends. Yes, we have family. We have people that love us and support us and all that stuff. But you are the one that's going to determine your destiny. Nobody else. Right. So how did you stay inspired during those three years that you were in Pennsylvania going after your dream, but not quite getting to where you were at the time? I really wanted to get back to New York. I absolutely love New York City. I love living here. I have a fabulous view of the city every day, which inspires me to get up and do what I do every single second. I miss New York so badly. I was single. I'm still single. And I just knew that, like, I had to get back here. And again, it's very expensive to live in New York. Now, I could have come back. And before I left, I looked into cheaper apartments. I said, no, you know, this isn't me. I can figure this out quick. And then, of course, I was back. And then I realized it was much harder and a much longer road than I anticipated. But very often in life, I always say this. When you put out there and you want to manifest something that you desire, I always say I ask for this or something better. Because very often what happens is we have a goal in our mind or we have this dream, but we need to open it up at something better, better than we could have even imagined could happen. And that's kind of what happened with me. I never thought that I would start a business. I never thought that I would be on national television or radio. So, I mean, you really have to open yourself up to all the good that the universe can bring forth towards you, not just your own dreams. And I think a lot of people sell themselves short. They really, really do. So for me, coming back to New York was a huge motivation. One, because I was single. Two, because I love New York City. I love Pennsylvania. I love my family. But, you know, there's so much that New York has to offer. And even though right now the city's kind of shut down, New York is going to come back. And it'll probably come back stronger than ever. Yes. And how do you set goals and manifest them? Like, do you have a vision board? Do you write down your goals and look at them every day? How is that process for you? I've never done the vision boards, but I do believe that they work for people. And I think they're good for people that like to do them. I know people journal as well. Again, I don't do that either. I used to write in a diary and a journal. To be honest with you, I'm so busy that by the time my day is done, my head hits the pillow, but my mind is still active and alert. So for me, it's all 100% in my brain and 100% mental. I mean, it's so much so that I talk about this with the trading. I say, you have 100% conviction. You have 100% conviction that this trade's going to work. Because if you do, then take it. And if you don't, then the answer is no. It's like if you're in love with someone, if I said, are you in love with your boyfriend? If you hesitate, the answer is no. If you say, yes, I love him, he's fabulous, then you know that it's yes. And that's the way I feel about whatever my dream is. Like if there's a question, if you have to question whatever it is you're going after, then maybe you don't really want it that badly. And so if you don't, then you're not going to put the energy and the motivation into it. And you're not going to go through the hard times because you don't think it's worth it. You definitely have to think that it's worth it. And going back to what I was saying before, my friend was like, well, when are you going to stop? When are you going to quit? I said, never. And that became a saying for me then, how badly do you want it, I guess? And you really have to want it badly. And that was something, again, that I felt that, we were in sync with together and probably why you and I connected so well, because you have that. It's something that's in your heart. It's in your spirit when you want it and you make it happen. Exactly. 